in the diagram, the horizontal lines are parallel. What is the size of angle Y? Give the correct reasoning. 115 degree. The answer is 115 degree. Alternate to angle 115 degree. See, what letter you can trace out, start on one of the horizontal lines and cross over to the other, including known angles as you go. You can trace out a Z here, which means it is an alternate angle to 115 degree. Question number 2. What is the size of angle X? Give you a reason. Corresponding to angle 50 degree. See what letter you can trace out start on one of the parallel lines and cross over to the other, including known angles as you go. You can trace out an F with an X and the 50 degree. So this means X is a corresponding angle with 50 degree. Question number 3. What is the size of angle Y? Give you a reason. Fifty degree vertically opposite the fifty degree angle is the right answer. In this question, why is it opposite the fifty degree angle? The two intersecting lines from a corner, more correctly known as a vertex. So this is an example of vertically opposite angles. Question number four: What is the sign of angle Z? Give a reason. Supplementary to the other angle on the straight line is the right answer. There are two steps of answering this question. The first step requires you to find the other angle that lies on the straight line with Z. This is the third angle in triangle with the other two angles being 45 degree and 50 degree. This means this angle must be 85 degree. The 85 degree angle and Z lie on a straight line, so they must add up to 180 degree. Two angles are supplementary if they add up to 180 degree. Therefore, Z equal to 90 degree. Question number 6. One angle in a triangle in a reflex is reflex. What can be said about one of the other two angles in the triangle? This is an impossible triangle. This question is made to, take, is to make you think about the types of angles that could be used in shapes. As the sum of the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degree, it isn't, imposs it isn't possible for one of the angles to be greater than 180 degree. Try and draw it out. Question number 6. So, calculate the size of angle P and give you a reason. Start on the parallel line by P and trace a root to the other parallel line and include a known angle. You can trace out a C which means they are co-interior and they add up to 180 degree. Question number 7. Calculate the size of angle Q and give a reason. There are two steps required to answer this question. You first need to work out BAC. This lies on a straight line with 1 of 5 degree and so is a supplementary angle of 65 degree. Next trace is Z from BACQ which means BAC and ACQ are alternate angles. Question number 8. Angle R is 40 degree which statement is not a valid reason. alternate to BAC so ACB equal to 115 degree minus 75 degree. This question is intended to show that there are often a number of ways of reaching the correct answer and that you need to know the definition of the different angle facts. These is alternate to ACQ and the angle supplementary to ACB. 
What is the size of triangle next? stages to answering this question. The first is to recognize the BAE is alternate with AED. Next, the check mates, check marks on lines DE and AE indicate they are the same length. This means triangle AD is isoscales. With the two equal angles occurring at A and D, each of these have a size of 1 by 2, 180 minus 38, equal to 71 degree. Lastly, the angle is sublimated to the 71 degree. So, x equal to 180 minus 71 equal to 190. ABC is a triangle. What is the size of angle B? 60 degree is the right answer. Right? At point A, angle BS is the triangle. is 50 degree as it is a vertically opposite side, the other 50 degree angle. Now, we have two angles in the triangle which sum to 120 degree. As the sum of all the angles in triangle is 180 degree. So P equal to 180 minus 50 plus 30. P equal to 180 minus 120 equal to 60 degree.